we're gonna make a pork burger called a hamburger. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of Asian flair on this one. So you know what I love to use? I love to use this pickled ginger, right? The slices you can buy, I've chopped that up. We're gonna add a little bit of ginger to our pork. Oh, the faux green onions, AKA the cilantro stems. Soy sauce, Not. we're not gonna use salt salt, we're gonna use soy sauce, very nice. We're gonna add some heat, depending on if you like it or not. A little bit of that uh, rooster sauce that we all love so much. This uh, pork sliders are gonna be something that we can just kind of get ready in advance. And then as soon as our friends walk in, you throw it in the oven, it's done, you flip it, you hit it, you enjoy the company, you laugh, okay? Because that's what it's all about. Spray, spray, spray. In order to make them all about the same size, I grab my ice cream scoop, put one nice big scoop into each one. They will shrink down a little bit, so I'm not scared they're gonna be a little bit big right now. So I'm gonna take my plastic wrap, put it right over the top. Look at that. Take another muffin pan, put it right on top. Squeeze down. Perfect. That's what it's gonna look like right there. Into the oven for about eight minutes or so. You wanna make sure your pork is cooked all the way through. But right here, I have some of these nice little, uh, some rolls. You don't put butter on your rolls, you put mayonnaise. Look at that. Watch this turn crispy golden brown right here on the old sheet tray. Pork sliders are done. They look absolutely great. My friends are coming in. I don't want to work too hard. Boom. Look at those perfect little sliders. Uh-huh. Did you ever think it would be this easy? There we go. Really gonna be big flavors. Remember we put some of that chopped up pickled ginger in here also. Now let's add a little bit of lettuce right here. Watch this. Oh yes right on top, bun, follow the lines, all right? Perfect sliders. And that's how we make 12 sliders, super, super easy, using that muffin pan. Mm, remember, the chef always eats the best.